Hello everyone. Welcome back to Act of Learning. Our discussion in this video will be regarding the paradoxical Gabriel's horn. It is a surface of revolution formed by revolving the curve y equal to 1 by x around the x-axis. The generated surface has an infinite surface area but a finite volume which forms the apparent paradox. The fact that this object has a finite volume was first shown by the Italian mathematician Evangelista Torricelli. Unfortunately, his very elegant but simple proof, which was discovered years before the invention of calculus, is little known. And that proof will be the topic of discussion in this video. Torricelli used the powerful Cavalieri's principle in showing this result. This principle is not new in our channel. We already used the two-dimensional version of it to find the area under a cycloidal arch. The three-dimensional case is analogous. It states, if every plane parallel to the common base of two solids intersects them in sections of equal area, then both the solids have equal volume. Archimedes used a similar method to establish that the volume of a hemisphere to be equal to that of a punctured cylinder. Let's consider the section of the curve y equal to 1 by x starting from x is equal to 1 and connect the open end horizontally to the y-axis. We are now going to find the volume of this horn with a cap at the end. In fact, we are going to show that the volume of this horn is equal to that of a cylinder with height 1 and radius square root of 2. By construction, the area of the section at any height in this cylinder is 2 pi. Consider any line at a height h less than 1 from the x-axis. This line intersects the curve at the point 1 by h, comma h. When we revolve the curve to form the horn, this horizontal line generates a cylinder of radius h and length 1 by h. If we now flatten out this cylinder, the rectangular surface so formed has length 1 by h and width 2 pi h, giving an area of 2 pi. This area is independent of the height and is equal to that of the section of the cylinder irrespective of the height chosen. Therefore, by Cavalieri's principle, the volume of the horn is equal to that of the cylinder, which is obviously 2 pi. To me, this proof is pure genius. If we think about the proof, Torricelli's proof amounts to the use of double integral at a time when the ideas of integral calculus were not fully understood. Hope you enjoyed the discussion. See you in the next video.